right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Saturday, August 8th. Man, have I been gone for a long time. I'm on a plane. I'm coming back home though. That's right, folks. I'll be back in the store on Monday, but we've got one more sale left to go before I get back. And this is a winery we know very well here, Dominio di Atauta from Ribera del Duero. And uh, Ribera, a big hit with people that love California Cabernets or big reds. You know, these wines are fairly alcoholic, 14 plus percent. They put them in new oak. And one of the unique things about Ribeiro del Duero is old vines. Like this vineyard here is 100 years old. Wow. Tinto Fino, a.k.a. Tempranillo. It's got a couple different names. And uh, this wine's aged in new French oak. You get that lovely perfume, a big bouquet of dark spices, coffee, notes of buttered movie popcorn. Really intense. Really, really cool. Though. I mean, I usually don't get that in red wines, but uh, that malolactic fermentation that all reds go through, that's where you get that diacetyl, that buttery component, which uh, this wine's got a lot of jammy, wild strawberry fruit, notes of smoked meats, really exotic bouquet here. Very rich and unctuous on the palate. What does that mean? It's just really rich. And uh, sweet ripe fruit, sweet tobacco spice, a nice hand of acidity too, holding things firmly in place. And this 2010 vintage, really nice. Lovely balance and uh, some silky tannins on the finish here. But this one has got a long finish. I'll bet you could keep it for 10, 20 years. Hey, we've had Vegas Sicilia Unico back to the 50s and the wine's still fantastic. And hey, speaking of Vegas Sicilia and every other wine from Ribeiro del Duero, for you, our Ribeiro del Duero loving people, we're gonna give you everything that we have in the store from Ribeiro del Duero on this offering. Ribeiro del Duero located just to the south of Rioja and the wine's a little bigger. I would say Rioja is probably the most elegant expression of Tempranillo that you'll find in Spain. Ribeiro del Duero, like I said, more like California Cabernet. And then you have Toro, which is a little further south and uh, very sandy soils in Toro. So um, no phylloxera down there. They have very old Tempranillo vines, but really, really dark and intense. Definitely the darkest. So Ribeiro del Duero kind of lies right in between those two in terms of style. And uh, this estate, Dominio Atalto, really producing some outstanding wines. I'm going to list all the other single vineyards they have in stock. Also, the Val de Gates, absolutely stunning. But let me tell you, this wine, I won't call it their entry-level wine, but uh, the Dominio Atalto for $33. Wow. There's a lot of wine in this bottle. So check it out. Our little gem here from Dominio Talta and everything else from Ribeiro del Duero. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.